A quick one, guys. I'm just kind of curious. We're, what, 22 games into the season now as we're recording this. Would you guys change the lineup construction in any way? And if so, how, Eric, you lead off? Pun intended with the lead off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, you go. gotcha. Better off. than Mookie. He eats meat. Did you know? <laughs> Look, I, I think the top three is solidified. Doc has not touched that yet with Betts. C-O-C-K. Betts, Freddie, and Trey. I think that's, that's locked in. Uh, but, I, I, you know, I, I like it. I mean, I think Turner needs to stay in the sixth spot. I think that's as low as he should go. But so. moving Turner down in the order is what needs to happen. It Just also me. shows you that even if you're the team captain, even if you've done all the things that Turner's done for the Dodgers, you still got to earn your keep on this team. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I would love to see that. I'd also love to see some more Edwin Rios, uh, some more Eddie Money <laughs> in the still, lineup. Is he still on the team? He's still on the team. I, I, was, I was beating that drum last week. But uh, I wouldn't change much. I would just leave Turner in the sixth spot until he proves it. And uh, I'd probably leave Muncie, you know, no lower than fifth in the order, which he's done pretty consistently. Doug, any quick thoughts? Yeah, I mean, like you said, the top three of the order, that's going to be set in stone. We know that. When it does come to Max Muncie, it is a little concerning. He's not giving you the power that he's given the Dodgers because he has been the Dodgers' biggest thumper since he joined the team. Mm-hmm. Last year, a home run, a little just under every 14 at-bats. This year, two home runs and 69 plate appearances. Giggity. Nice. But when you look at <laughs> this year, I mean, you just have to – you have to be patient. You have to see if he can figure things out. Because I think that you're, I think you're still feeling the, Ill, the, the feeling the effects of the injury, the UCL injury. I mean, yeah. he pretty much got his, you know, shoulder blown off like Jack Black and the Jackal. I mean, it's just. It, I think that he's still feeling <laughs> the ill effects scene. in that movie uh, in this uh, in this season. I'm just concerned a little bit about Max Muncie. I mean, when you look at the fact that when he headed into this, he was telling Alana Rizzo that. The UCL injury is going to take longer to recover, yeah. and then all of a sudden he's like, "No, I'm feeling great." It's but, feeling great. And yeah. then it changes to, uh, you know, I'm not going to be right for yeah. the next year and a half or yeah. whatever. And now he's playing a lot of third base. I'm sure that's messing with him. But I do. Uh, but I will say though, I mean, I think I, I want to bat Will Smith as high in the order as you can. I think that you move him to the cleanup spot. I think Will Smith, if you look at his numbers, he has even really hit his stride offensively. But I trust Will Smith. I think it's time to have a little bit of a change of the guard in the middle of the order right there. We saw Justin Turner. His number numbers aren't very encouraging. Max Muncy's are a little more encouraging with his barrel percentage, his bad bit, but walk rate. Gets walk on rate. When you look at the on-base still a 310 on-base percentage. Towards the bottom of the lineup, you worry about Cody Bellinger starting to struggle again. My theory for a while was that Cody Be- Max Muncy gave Cody Bellinger the power in his shoulder and he sucked it from him, but now that he's struggling, I don't know. I'm just a little concerned about Cody Bellinger, but I think that when it comes to this lineup, there's really no holes when they're all playing well, but they really haven't hit their stride as of yet. I'm going to change the question a little bit for you and, and, and quick on it. Uh, Gavin Lux, Hans or Alberto, which of those two would you rather have in the lineup, assuming that that would mean Alberto is playing third base and Max is probably playing you know, second and Gavin's on the bench? Here's the deal. Hans or Alberto has yet to find his stride. Okay. Most of his at-bats end in a broken bat. Yeah. The dude does put bat on ball, Mm -hmm. which is a very good quality to have. He also plays good defense. Gavin Lux does not play good defense. Max Muncy does not play good defense. Can that hide it a little at second? Question mark? I don't know. I don't know if you can hide it. I don't know about that. (laughs) Look, here's the deal. I love me some Hanser the Answer, man. I love fringy bench players. And really I, good third baseman. Man. I really love those kind of guys. JT is going to need more time off as the season progresses. He already has had a decent amount of time off at third yeah. base. Hanser Alberto is going to be somebody who is going to see more and more playing time as the season progresses. Will he find it at the plate? Who knows? But he's Hanser the Answer. He's the man. He has, you know, he's the kind of guy that he's having fun in the field. And I appreciate funny it. Faces? He's not funny faces. He seems to keep energy yeah, up in the dugout. Yeah, he's having real fun. He's having actual fun doing what he's doing. I like him. I like his personality. I like what he brings to the team. You see him in the clubhouse. He's a guy that people are very drawn to. They want to be around him. He comes and messes. It doesn't matter if you're a veteran. If It doesn't matter if you're a superstar. It doesn't matter who you are. He comes around in the clubhouse. He messes with you a little bit. Magnetic Jazzy personality. Gets out of there. Magnetic. Super, super magnetic yeah. personality. He's the kind of guy that I like. Not to say that those other guys don't have that personality, yeah. but Max Muncy does not have that personality whatsoever. I think but, I, was, I was leading the witness and trying to get more defense at third base. That's what I want because you can sacrifice stuff at the bottom of the lineup. We've yeah. done it for a very long time by putting Austin Barnes in there. And you so, used to have a pitcher hitting. <laughs> exactly. Right. You need to remember that. You also need to remember the fact that Hanser, uh, that he can actually yeah, hit can left-handed hit. pitching really, really well. Mm-hmm. He can. He just hasn't yet. So that's something I'm willing to wait for. That's something that I'm willing to give him playing time in order to make that happen. Because the only way you get guys hot off of the bench is playing them. And we haven't played yeah. a lot of our bench guys yet. 
Or a good exactly. flubber.